Still seeing cloudy skies out and about as the rain has moved on out. We'll get a small chance this afternoon, but it's really tonight off into tomorrow morning. We're looking at that snow chance. I'll go over the latest forecasts coming up. Icy and wet roads made for a tricky morning commute for some drivers. We'll show you if things are improving. Police say scammers continue to target doctors by lying about kidnapping their kids. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Barbara Bailey. Most of the rain has pushed out of the bluegrass this midday, but not before causing some slick roads in some areas. Another round of showers will be back tonight. That could be turning into snow in the overnight hours. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris on duty and tracking possible accumulations now on our first alert defender. Yeah, I think that's going to be the problem tomorrow morning. We have another chance of some slick roadways. And uh, as of right now, the rain has moved on. Now, you will only have a slight chance at a couple of sprinkles the rest of the afternoon, but heading off toward that evening time, I want you to look just just to the north of us, and you can already see that spin in the atmosphere right through here. There's your spin, and what that is is your low pressure system trying to scoot across from us. But what it does is it throws that cold air back into our forecast. You're not feeling it right now. It's 51 in Lexington. We talked about this early this morning. Here around noontime, you'll get in the 50s, right around 50, and then you'll start to drop it off as you see the cold air is going to be funneling in the rest of the afternoon. So by about 4 p.m., we'll be roughly 45 degrees. It's not cold, but it's cooler. And then as we take our uh, time off into the evening and night, that's when the snow showers kind of pick on up. Now, I'll show you off in your forecast coming up in about 10 minutes where you can expect the best chance. And like I said, that comes up just a few minutes. Okay. We'll see you then, Micah. Thank you. And all that rain that moved through the bluegrass this morning caused some major icing issues in some areas. Police in several counties reported working dozens of crashes through the mid morning hours. WKYT's Victor Puente is in Wolf County with an update on the conditions. He continues our WKYT Top Story team coverage at noon. For the past couple of hours, emergency crews here in Wolf County have had their hands full, dealing with the effects of ice-covered roads across the county. Now, this was what the Mountain Parkway looked like around 1145. Drivers told me a hill was covered in a layer of ice, so they weren't even going to risk it, leading to that stoppage. A video posted to Facebook showed just how bad that ice was as a man tried to walk across the parkway, but it looked more like a skating rink. Now, dispatchers tell me they had at least a dozen crashes this morning with more calls coming in. One man who drove through town told me he saw multiple cars on the side of the road. It's bad enough the sheriff's department is asking people to stay off the roads. Now, last check, traffic on the Mountain Parkway was beginning to move, but it could take some time before that backup clears out. In Wolf County, Victor Puente, WKYT. All right, well, the man having to crawl there because it kind of says it all. At one point, the Mountain Parkway was shut down in Powell County due to the number of accidents there. It has since reopened. Meanwhile, forecasters have their eyes on two weather systems that may bring significant additional snow to New England in the coming days as they continue to try to dig out from a historic blizzard. The National Weather Service says a storm is expected to arrive there late tonight and on through tomorrow, bringing up to four inches of additional snow to Connecticut, Rhode Island, Island and Massachusetts. Forecasters also are monitoring a storm that could head into the Northeast this weekend, and that could add additional snow totals. Remember, you can help us track the snow from your own backyard. Send us your eyewitness pictures using the hashtag WKYT Rules Winter. A disturbing scam alert involving children has now spread outside of Lexington. Police say someone is calling doctors claiming to have kidnapped their children and demanding money for ransom. The most recent report was out of Madison County. WKYT Sam Smith has the latest on the investigation in this Crime Tracker report. Sam? Doctors from the Madison Family Clinic were targeted in this scam. The scammer said their child was kidnapped and demanded a ransom. Their son is an adult and works for state police. I talked with another doctor out of Rockcastle County. He says someone claimed to have kidnapped his daughter and demanded a ransom too. His daughter is a basketball coach and is doing just fine. This is a crime we told you about yesterday. Lexington police reported three incidents of this type recently. The FBI has been tracking these scams for years. They call it virtual kidnapping. The scam preys on emotions and targets doctors to get money from them. The scammers try to make the call as real as possible, sometimes by using the sound of someone crying in the background. 
So it's one thing we're talking about stealing money. It's another thing we're talking about stealing people's children. Police want to remind anyone that receives a call like this to get as much information from the caller as possible, to not negotiate with the caller or pay them anything, and of course to contact police. In Madison County, Sam Smith, WKYT. And so far, no arrests have been made. A man wanted for kidnapping two people in two states, including a 13-year-old boy, answered to the charges this morning. Robert Caldwell pleaded not guilty to a string of crimes in court. Police say Caldwell pulled a gun on the teen outside his Casey County home Tuesday, forced him into a truck, and then took off. He let the teen go a while later, and the boy ran to a nearby store for help. Caldwell then led police on a chase before being arrested. We'll hear the 911 call from the boy's mother coming up in a report on WKYT News at 12:30. A man accused in a crime spree in five central Kentucky counties will answer to the charges in about an hour. Frank Combs is accused of breaking into several cars to steal purses and then to go on shopping sprees with stolen credit cards. Police say he committed the crimes in Franklin, Mercer, Clark, Madison, and Fayette counties. Franklin County Sheriff Melton is crediting a loss prevention officer at Kmart for recognizing Combs from a photo. We have an update now on the investigation into that bar fight that injured an EKU football player. The fight happened early Sunday morning at Jersey's in Richmond. The incident reportedly involved football players, and the players are from two different teams. Well, this morning, police told us that they are still in the process of interviewing a large number of witnesses to the fight. EKU offensive lineman Colton Scurry suffered cuts, a broken nose, and other broken bones in the fight. School leaders say a reported assault at Telford Hall on campus could be connected. Well, the Big Blue Nation has time to roll up its sleeves to try to beat the Gators before they meet the Cats on the hardwood next month. With just two days left, Kentucky has jumped in front of Florida in the annual Big Blue Slam blood drive competition. Donors will receive a limited edition T-shirt and a chance to win a pair of tickets to the second and third rounds of the 2015 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. It's going to be held in Louisville. You can donate through tomorrow at 7 o'clock and four at four Kentucky Blood Center locations. Well, the Oscar Meyer Wiener Mobile is in Lexington today. The famous hot dog ride made a stop at the Beaumont Center Kroger this morning. Workers are handing out stickers and its memorable hot dog whistle to both young and old. For as long as the brand has been around, the wiener workers say the hot dog crosses generational lines. It just means a lot that this is my job. You know, every time we pull into a parking lot, someone smiles as we play. The horn is our jingle. So it just really means a lot that every day is a parade with the Wiener Mobile, and I get to have that opportunity to make those smiles on those kids' faces. Now, if you missed it today, the Wiener Mobile will make stops at other Kroger stores in Lexington throughout the weekend. Be oh, looking for it. Yeah, Hard might, to miss. Might spot it out there. Well, new details are emerging from Air Asia Flight 8501 that crashed last month, including how fast things apparently went tragically wrong. We'll have the latest on that investigation coming up on WKYT News at noon. And also ahead, disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong has been linked to doping once again. This time for his role in a controversial new music video. We'll show it to you coming up next on Kentucky's number one midday news.